Okay, welcome back to another league with Modern Jund. Having a lot of fun with this at the moment after the band of Restricted announcement the other week. Um, made a few changes to the list, just um, quickly point them out. So, I've lost an Assassin's Trophy in favour of a Maelstrom Pulse. Really like Maelstrom Pulse. It's one more mana and sorcery speed, but the potential to just kill several different, you know, the, the, the ability to get a 2 for 1, 3 for 1 out of this is really good um, and obviously not giving them not giving our opponent a land is <coughs> is good keeping with a 1-1 a one -one split of trophy decay um, not sure I like trophy but I think it's sometimes necessary so yeah, keeping it in for now um, then we've added a season pyromancer instead of the scavenging ooze scavenging ooze felt very awkward with croxa um, just because obviously to escape Crocs you need double black, double red and I didn't seem to ever be wanting to fetch multiple green sources um, so put in a season pyromancer instead and I think that's the only changes um, yeah and then a few updates to the sideboard um, added a collective brutality, just really good against prowess. Added a couple, another hunt master, been really good in the grindy matchups. And again, you bring it in against um, the, the aggressive decks because it blocks well with the token and gains you life. Added some ancient grudges. Seen a few bits of um, <coughs> artifact decks running around. Played against um, Urza a couple of times, and obviously good against Tron. Um, but we have had to lose a cleansing wildfire for that and I've had a lot of matches where I've wanted to bring in Plague Engineer um, been a few elves running around with the people trying out different things um, Elementals oddly I've, I've played against a few times which is a cool deck but really um, really wanted the extra Plague Engineer for that one um, and in grinding matches worst comes to worst you can bring it in and it blocks with a Death Touch Death Touch body that's um, slightly harder to fade to push so yeah there are the changes um, so let's jump in to uh, our first round. <coughs> Hope everyone's doing well wherever they're watching from. Um, if you are enjoying the, the stuff, the, the content, please do think about uh, liking and subscribing. Um, I'm fairly new to this, so not sure, not sure um, how it all works. But yeah, if you could uh, subscribe, always happy to take comments as well. Let me know if you're enjoying the uh, the channel. Um, if you've got any suggestions or um, or decks that you think I might might enjoy, um, always happy to try new things or try new cards in decks. Um, going to be trying, yeah, going to be playing quite a lot of Jund, um, and then want to try the other BGX decks, Rock and Abzan. I've always wanted to make Sultai work, but never quite got there. But um, might do a little bit of looking into that. Um, but yeah. <coughs> Mostly Jund at the moment. Um, yeah, as I say, going to try some Abzan and Rock at some point in the near future. Um, <coughs> see if my opponent joins this one. Yep, looks like it. So we lose the roll on the draw. Um, so this would be fantastic on the play. I mean, I'm going to keep it. Um, turn two Ren and six with a fetch land is always always pretty good. Don't really want to see Tron or a super aggressive deck. Forgotten Cave. Um, <coughs> so I would say that this indicates Dredge mostly. Could be the mirror. Still could be either. Okay, less likely to be the mirror now and more likely to be dredge. Cathartic reunion probably. Yep, there's Cathartic Reunion. Gonna dump loads of stuff into the bin. Um they hit Bloodgast, uh prized amalgam, an ox, crikey. Okay, so um pretty good <coughs> pretty good uh turn two for my opponent. We could have done with a discard spell there. Um, let's go and get an overgrown tomb. Dredge always been a fairly hard matchup when you're not packing the, the kind of hyper 
graveyard hate the likes of uh, Leyline of the Void. Um, obviously, not much to say <coughs> about that turn. Don't really have anything to do apart from jam Brennan six. Um, opponent is now out of dredges in the yard. Notably, didn't hit another dredger, but I would, um, wouldn't be surprised to see them escape an ox here. That's a Shriek Horn, which we can call a Gannis Command, which is pretty nice. They do hit a Dredger there. Uh, they're going to return their Stinkweed Imp, which will return their prized Amalgam. And now we're probably going to see the Ox. So, hmm, best ways to win this pre-board. I don't know, you need, you need to get fairly lucky here. Tarmogoyf is your <coughs> you kind of best hope at that. Um, yeah, my opponent just having a sort of going off here. Um, so yeah, so there is Tarmogoyf. Um Opponent got got dredges in hand. Um, so tempting plays are we can kill the ox with a combination of Colligan's command and the Renan Six Ping. We could play the Goyf, but given that they could as well, given that they've got another ox in there, oh they've got a conflagrate in there as well, and a life from the loam. I think this is probably just over. Um We can kill the ox, kill the shriek horn, which isn't too bad. But then we take five plus uh, plus conflagrate, <coughs> which is enough. I'm just going to concede here. Um, you know, you can see a little bit of information. I mean, it's pretty obvious from our what we played that we we're on Jund, but um, yeah, just think we want to go ahead and get onto sideboarding. Obviously, interested in the spell bombs. Um, Liliana is not good. Don't want them actively discarding cards. Croxa similarly could be considered a cut. Clothis, obviously good dangerous life. Graveyard hate. Um, brutality, I can see bringing in on the play. Takes cathartic reunion. We're going to bring in surgical extraction. <coughs> um, just a nice catch all. Um, and then Huntsmaster is a consideration as well. Ancient Grudge kills. Um, Ancient Grudge kills, uh, what's it called, Shriekhorn, but doesn't really do anything else, so we're not going to want that. Um, Plague Engineer deals with Blood Gas and Narc Amoebas, and Huntsmaster, just a, a good way blocker and gains some life, can kill their things. Uh, so we need to make a cut. Discard, always good against Dredge. I mean, that time they had. Um, Nothing on turn one, followed by a cathartic reunion on two. If we'd have managed to inquisition that way, obviously it would have been really good. Um, Fatal push is going to get cut. Spot removal, not really what we want to be doing. Run and six as well doesn't really do anything. Um, so I think we're going to cut those cards. We have increased our curve <coughs> quite a bit here. Um, but that's okay. We're going to have to be careful with what sort of hand we keep. Croxer is interesting. I don't think there's anything better than Croxer in there. And it's at the end of the day, it's a big, big clock, and my opponent finds it hard to attack through a Croxer. So I think we're going to go with that. See how we get on. Um, we would like to go first. Okay, this sounds great. Um, it's got a spell bomb. It's got a goif. Goif and goif is really good in this matchup, as I say. It's just able to block a lot of what they're doing. Um, wish that this trophy was a discard spell. I suppose <coughs> would be nice. Opponent probably bringing in. Uh, things that deal with my any potential graveyard hate. They don't know what we what we might have. So things like they might be afraid of Leyline of the Void or uh, 
graph diggers cage. Um, so they're probably bringing in nature's claim or equivalent. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I think we'll fetch shock. Could fetch a basic forest. Um, we've got double black already. I think that's fine. I think basic forest. It casts goif on two. It casts blood red elf. It casts trophy. Our life total does matter in this matchup. And then we're going to go ahead and spell bomb turn one. Opponent does run thought seize effects. Um, we could just get um, nature's claimed here. But we'll see. That's a shriek horn. Okay. <coughs> so. Nylon Spell Bomb can be a bit awkward in terms of when you have to activate it. I think in general we're happy to just um, wait until there's some sort of trigger. Um, I don't think we want to, you know, obviously there we could have not put the Goyf down and held up an activation with Nylon Spell Bomb. We're less concerned with drawing cards with it. And we are just nuking their graveyard, so they're going to dredge here. They hit an ox, um, so ox is escape exile eight other cards. So they have got enough to ox now, but they've hit nothing else. I think we're fine if they want to cast an ox. We can kill the ox. Opponent obviously deciding the same. Um, so here we do want access to bolt. So I think I'm just going to play the we're going to play the basic mountain and then attack. <coughs> the opponent going to dredge life from the loam, I would imagine. So we've got quite a clock here. We could trophy shriek horn, but given that we've got the spell bomb, don't think that's something we really want to do. So my opponent hits a blood ghast. So how into spell bombing right now are we? Um, they've dredged life from the loam. Are there any spells that we want, don't want them to get? So we don't really want them to ox because they will get to draw three cards. But they do have an activation of sp of shriek horn left. Um, we know they've got dredgers in hand. I think, yeah, so they've got Stinkweed Imp in hand. I think I'm okay spell bombing now. We just don't want them going nuts here. They get an activation from Shriekhorn, but there's a Bloodgast in there and the Ox. I think this is okay. It shrinks the Goyf, but. Um, so opponent activates Shriek Core and they hit a stink medium, which is a little annoying. Um, <coughs> but we have, you know, we have a clock. We can blood braid elf this turn. Ooh, surgical extraction is nice, but we're not gonna just fire it off. I don't think. I think we're gonna blood braid. We hit Croxa, which do we cast? Like, we haven't got enough to... They've got dredges in there already. I think we Imp is the best dredger, but we don't really... No, I'm not going to cast Croxa. I just don't think it's worth it. Not worth having my opponent discard that many cards. We've got, um, got my opponent... Sort of, um, we've got them on a two-turn clock anyway. Looks like a bolt or something. Don't think does Dredge run lightning bolt? Lightning axe. Okay, a little bit surprised they haven't gone after the Goyf. Or would Goyf be too big? Okay, Goyf would be too big. 
Okay, so they've discarded Stinkweed Imp, so now we could Surgical the Stinkweed Imp. Um, there's instant stuff in there anyway, we'll let the Goyf go to damage. I think I'm okay Surgicaling the Stinkweed Imp, and then they don't dredge nearly as much. Or do we wait for a trigger? No, I think I'm going to wait. <coughs> we'll let them dredge the stinkweed in. They might hit nothing. It's not doing nothing really in hand. Okay, so Narcomoeba there. So we could now surgical the Narcomoeba, which stops the prized amalgam. But prized amalgam comes in tapped. They're not dead. Well, they are dead because we've got the bowl. Um, I mean, how much do we care about one Nark Amoeba? It will bring in the prized amalgam. Trouble is it blocks the Tarmogoyf, which is annoying. I'm going to surgical this Nark Amoeba. It stops the prized amalgam coming in. They've got one in hand. Not that that matters, they can't cast it. They've got a Stinkweed Imp in hand. So let's see what they've got left in their library. If they brought in anything unexpected, there's a Conflagrate. Another Ox. Surprise Amalgam, Shriek Horns. Nothing out of the ordinary. Um, so we've exiled all of their Nark Amoebas. So opponents should, well, they can play the Stinkweed Imp. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, but we can just trophy the Stinkweed Imp now. Bolt my opponent, or just bolt, bolt, bolt this. Let's just check. Bolt this attack. Yeah. So bolt the Stinkweed Imp. Bolt my opponent. Crash in with Goyf. So a combination of Goyf and Spellbomb getting us there, there. Um, I mean, my opponent did Mulligan, but Dredge does Mulligan very well. Um, okay, I think we don't want. Don't think we want to make any changes. Let's just ship this pack. We have the classic Jund approach of uh, disruption and a clock, getting us there. So this hand's going to be a mulligan. Um, it's got too much top end. Bolt and decay are very low impact, especially on the on the draw. Um, Inquisition good, but we just we haven't got the got the clock, so we're going to mulligan that. Um, we're going to keep this. It's not the best. We don't want to mulligan again, but it does have Tarmogoyf. It does have interaction. Although, are we looking for something with better? My opponent has kept six. Um, I think we'll keep. I don't think we're we're going down to five. I think Goyf is one of the, the better cards, so we'll keep this, um, and we'll bottom a fetch land because <coughs> we're going to play Ravine on one unless we find a. A discard spell. Okay, looks like my opponent's got Shriek Horn. Okay, so we find a Lightning Bolt. Not worth shocking in for a Lightning Bolt, I wouldn't say, so we'll just play a Ravine and pass. Opponent doesn't hit anything but lands with their first Shriek Horn activation. Mm, they've hit five lands with it, so four lands with it so far. Play Blast Zone. Hopefully they haven't got a Cathartic Reunion. Hopefully they were all in on this Shriek Horn. Okay, so I've got Life from the Loam. Dredge back some lands. So, they've returned three lands. They've got three lands in hand. Brutality. So, I'm pretty confident my opponent doesn't have Cathartic Reunion because they had Life from the Loam in hand so they would have just Cathartic Reunion last turn. Um, we want to get a threat down. 
So I'm just going to play the Tarmogoyf and pass. Opponent going to get another activation from Shriekhorn and a Dredge from Life from the Loam. Or something bigger. Okay, so they hit a prized Amalgam. And an Archimede, but that's a little frustrating because they do now get to <coughs> to um, bring back the prized Amalgam, but it is only a 3-3. Three, three. And we get to Plague Engineer away the Narc Amoeba for no real cost. Um, okay, Life from the Loam. Could be Lightning Axe would be annoying. Oh, opponent messed up there. Uh, oh no, because this returns. Okay, actually, I messed up. Opponent did very well there. Um, okay, Bloodbred Elf's a fine draw. Um, yeah, we could have done without my opponent killing that Tarmogoyf. Um, yeah, so just a quick explanation. They Lightning Axe the Goyf, which dealt it five damage. The prize album came in, which we took a creature out of the graveyard, meaning my, my Tarmogoyf, and they had five toughness. So, yeah, opponent playing well there. Um, I think we're just going to Plague Engineer away the Narc Amoeba, we could, there's no point in pulsing this, we can't Blood Braid Elf yet, there's no real point in Brutalitying, um, yeah, so let's fetch, we'll go and fetch a basic swamp, my life total is 19, which is pretty good, <coughs> Narc Amoebas can get very annoying, they're just blockers for the, the Goyfs really. Uh, obviously they can fly in for some damage as well, but let's get this, keep our life total high. And so is this just an illusion? Yeah, so we'll choose illusion, kill the Narc Amoeba, and then pass. Uh, my opponent has a dredge two in the bin. Uh they hit some good stuff though. Um yeah, opponent hits two of the... Oh, and they've found Cathartic Reunion as well. So, when did they draw that? My, was my read wrong with the Collective Brutality from Turn 1? I don't think they've drawn since Turn 1, have they? They've always dredged. Um, opponent flips over several things. Don't think we want to take a block here, like the... Um, if they play a land, which they will, the blood gas is going to trigger all the prize amalgams. So they've got three blood gas in it. Yeah, this is the trouble. Maybe this should have chosen. Well, we didn't know that they had. Yeah, I think this was right at the time. Um, yeah, this is a. Uh, although we've got. Oh, uh, Goyf's not bad. So yeah, obviously, Plague Engineer here naming Spirit would be be very good. Maybe that was a higher upside play than than uh, Narc Amoeba, but my opponent ended the last turn with you know, no, nothing like this in hand, so um, we could pulse away the Amalgams I think we're just going to play the Tarmogoyf and pass holding up Lightning Bolt. <coughs> we are in a bit of trouble here Opponent at a lot of life. The dredge not really hitting anything, which is obviously good for us. Um, maybe I should consider some more hardcore grave hate. Wouldn't be surprised to see an attack from with all from my opponent. Um, question is, do we bolt something end of turn? I think we bolt a prized amalgam. Yeah, attack with all. Um, so we're going to block, th mm, if we block the prized amalgam instead, we take six. There's no conflagrate in the graveyard yet. Um, I think that's fine. And then are we wanting to bolt 
get a blood gas to take less damage. I think no, we don't want to bolt blood gas here because we probably shouldn't be blocking here actually. Yeah, this may have been a mistake. The reason we don't want to bolt a blood ghast is because my opponent has lands in hand. We don't want to put a blood ghast into the bin because then it bring, just brings back the prize of Alchemist we just profitably blocked. So, my opponent could just have Conflagrate here, which kills us. Do I want to throw a bolt at my opponent's face? Probably not here. Uh, more blood braid elves isn't what you want to see, really. I think we're attacking, though, so I think we're going to... We could just maelstrom pulse all these away, but that doesn't achieve anything, really. Um, the question is, do we want to kill one? They've got haste anyway, my opponent has lands. I don't think so, I think we just brutality... Hmm. Brutality, just gain two life. Go to six. My opponent then hits us. I think we're going to escalate brutality twice. We're going to take an instant source out of their hand to see what's going on. Um, it's not worth killing these because they have haste and my opponent has lands in hand. Um, and then we can bolt one in combat. Yeah, let's do this. Unfortunately, not to hit a land for Bloodbraid Elf there. Um, black and. Yeah, this is. I mean, th this. Yeah, we're, we're nearly just dead here. Yeah, Plague Engineer, prob so yeah, this is a lesson for future, I suppose. Um, so we're going to attack here, I think we have to start attacking, then we'll bolt a Blood Ghast on their turn. opponent could put counters on the Blast Zone. Yeah, it's hard to win against Dredge because you just you just never you never win game one. Opponent could hit a creeping chill here, in which case we're just dead. I think the um yeah the plague engineer should have okay creeping chill. My opponent hits creeping chill, we get a three, and then we can bolt this and take four. Yeah, that's just game over sadly. So. Yeah, maybe we should have mulliganed harder. The Plague Engineer was probably a little bit of a mis mistake, seeing as we're now dying to these Blood Ghasts. Um, but the Blood Ghasts, if they continually die, they can't, they, do, they do still trigger the Prize of Alchems anyway. Um, but we could deal with the Prize of Alchem, I suppose. So, one for the future, I suppose. Um, it was that one, one sort of turn where my opponent had nothing, and then... Um, hit a load of dredgers and they, well they found yeah I'm not sure where they found the cathartic reunion um, maybe my read was wrong or maybe there was one draw step there where they actually had to take a draw um, because we were pretty confident they didn't have a, a cathartic reunion yeah so they must have they must have found that which is slightly slightly irritating um, and the the killing of the goyf with the the lightning axe was was very good for my opponent. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's often how it goes against Dredge. Been seeing a bit of an uptick in Dredge. Um, wondering if we should be running more graveyard hate, so either more Nile spell bombs are easier to find, or something something a bit more impactful like Leyline of the Void. Um, yeah, maybe something to consider for the next league. But you know, that's um, that's often how it goes against Dredge. Um, Let's uh, jump into the next one and we'll see you back for round number two. Just uh, while waiting for a moment, I've just been thinking a little bit about um, 
about the graveyard hate we run. We are a little bit light. We've got main deck clothis. We haven't got the scoos anymore. We've got two spell bombs. I think we're probably going to want some more. I'm wondering if I don't know if anyone's got any thoughts on this. Just reach out to me somehow. Um, put it in the comments or or whatever. But I think see with the season pyrancer. Given that this can discard cards, I'm wondering if we want to run Leyline of the Void now, because the the big the big problem okay, we've been paired, but um, the the big problem with Leyline of the Void is obviously it's a horrible top deck. You don't want to top deck it um, late game when it just does nothing. Um, but with Liliana of the Veil vale and with uh, Season Pyromancer, Season Pyromancer could loot it away. Is interesting. So. Oh, I'm wondering if, if 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 instead, yeah, I don't know what people's thoughts are at the moment. Maybe no House Bell Bomb is just better, but yeah, let me know if you've got any thoughts on that. I wonder if more season pyromancers might kind of fix the the downside slightly of Leyline of the Void. Maybe something to try for the next league. But for now, let's concentrate on this one. So we've got a lot of powerful cards in hand. If this is a mid range or control mirror, it's not too bad. But I think we're going to mulligan for some early interaction. Ugh. This is even worse. Um, it's got the land, it's got a bolt. I think we're going to go down one more. Oh yeah, this is better. Um, <coughs> we need to put two cards on the bottom, so we're going to put... Um, put. We want to get cards in the graveyard for Croxa, so we'll put Swamp and one Fetch Land, I think. Okay, let's... See what we're against. So turn two Ren and Six is, is always something you want to, you want. Okay, cycle street race, so living end or some sort of shadow. Okay. Um this is Grixis Death Shadow by the look of it. Another deck that I really enjoy. Uh, might look to play some of that. Again, another deck that kind of fell off fell off the radar due to um due to Euro uh a turn two Gurmag Angler is so much worse when when the opponent can just uh, cast a 6-6 six -six from the graveyard to block it. Okay, my opponent's had a good hand here. My opponent's had a very good hand here. Um, turn two, two Death Shadows. Um, this kind of exemplifying why I like Shadow. You just get these you know, busted starts. Okay, Liliana's a good find. Um, hmm, Croxel might grow the shadows, and it also, if my opponent chooses to discard a land, they'll go up to fives. Don't think we're playing Croxer here until we've killed these shadows. Probably should have played the fetch land in that case. <coughs> but, yeah, we're going to cycle Street Wraith, so they're fives. Oh, finds a Thought Seize as well. I think we're this is hitting us for 14. If my opponent has a land... Okay, so we're at 5, so our only out now is Maelstrom Pulse. Unless this is a Gurmag Angler, which it looks like it is, in which case we're just dead. Yep, we're just... Um, I don't think there's anything we could find here. Yeah, we didn't draw any. We did multi 5, we were on the draw, and my opponent had... This is pretty much the nuts, especially when we're drawing lands, but yeah, turn 2, 2 Death Shadows. Um, not really what we we want to want to be seeing. So this one's a bit of a weird one. I think it's, it's it kind of gets grindy, especially post sideboarding. Um, so cards we want from the the side. We definitely want the. I, th I think we we definitely want the nine horse bar bombs to deal with Snapcaster Mage and to deal with um, Gurmag Angler. Gurmag Angler fairly difficult for us to interact with. Lightning Bolt doesn't really do anything for us. Uh, my opponent can get down to the kind of life total where Lightning, lightning Bolt will just kill them. Um, but yeah, I don't think we want that here. So we're going to bring in the Spell Bombs. We're going to bring in the uh, Engineers just because it trades with Gurmag Angler. Um, all this stuff's great. Croxa is interesting. I think we're going to keep it in. Ren and Six can be good. Um, I think we're going to cut a couple of Inquisitions. We are high increasing our curve here somewhat. Um, cleansing Wildfire is interesting. Attacking their land base. 
Um, does Renin 6 do enough? Yeah, I think it. I think Renin 6 is probably fine. They find it hard to get through chump blockers. I think we'll bring in a Hunt's Master and just try and try and get there. Um, <coughs> yeah, in grinding matches you often cut all the discard, but you don't mind turn to turn what a couple of discard spells against uh, against Shadow. So here we're going to keep. My opponent might thought seize us on turn one, but against thought seize you don't you want to try and minimise your mulligans. Uh, opponent keeping seven. So we're going to go and get an overgrown tomb. Gets most of our colours and it allows us to play Renin 6 next turn. And we'll play an Isle Spell while on Mance Go. Um, we'll probably fairly aggressively cycle this, um, depending on if we think my opponent can cast Gurma Gang there. So, opponent bawbling themselves there in order to have a scry. So, this implies that they probably have a. Um, a shock land in hand as well. Okay, a little bit annoying that my opponent had a discard spell there. Um, okay, so we'll play out our mountain and say go. We might be spell bombing this turn. I think we will be. Uh, another thought seize is annoying. So you take Clothis. Oh, they've got another thought seize. Okay, probably taking Liliana here. Yeah, so I'm gonna f I'm gonna spellborn them. We need to find a land. We find a fatal push, which isn't the worst, but we do want to find a land for this Collagans command now. Uh, another spell bomb. <coughs> it's not too bad. Um, we've now got an answer for a shadow and for, you know, this stops the Gurmag Angler. They've got through a lot of their discard, worth noting that they've kept in, if I look at it, they've kept in a lot of the discard spells against us. Yep, uh, that continues with a, a Thought Seize. Um, probably taking, yeah, taking the Collagans command. Um, so now I don't think it's worth cycling the spell bomb, um, or is it? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think we're gonna cycle it. We, just, we we need to find our lands. We find Inquisition, which isn't too bad. Um, Okay, so we're missing lands, which is annoying, but we will Inquisition my opponent, expecting to see a hand of Gurmag Anglers and such. Okay, so my opponent's got a fairly grindy hand. Um, I think we'll take the Snapcaster Mage here. Well, uh, Collagans Command can get it back. And they're further away from Snap Collagans Command. They'll need to find another land. Yeah, we're going to take the Collagans Command. Really want to find a, a land at some at some point. Opponent plays a Blood Crypt. Tap. Ren 6 will do. Um, slightly irritating if my opponent has found a Stubborn Denial. Which doesn't look like they have. Uh, so we'll get back a Wooded Foothills. Play this and then we get to hold up Push. Um, if my opponent finds a land they will be able to snap Collagans Command. Spell Bomb is annoying, but not too annoying. Okay, so... Are we gonna... I think we're gonna try and... We're gonna go to draw step. 
Okay, so we find Collagans command, which is interesting. Um, so the choices are we wait until my opponent activates the spell bomb and then we buy back a creature, which would have to be Clothis. We could Collagans command my opponent, make them discard. We could really do with getting the land back is the trouble. I think we'll f I think we're gonna j I think we're just gonna jam the Liliana here. Then if my opponent wants to um spell bomb us that's fine. So we don't need any more green, let's get blood crypt and shock. Um let's cast this Liliana because then if my opponent up ticks to put in a Snapcaster Mage, we'll just ping it with Renin 6, because we're unlikely to get any value out of this Renin 6 anyway. This turn from buying back a land. Maybe this is wrong, because we kind of want to discard Huntsmaster in order to Colligan's command it back. Um, hmm. So we could uptick Ren, my opponent will probably dis... Um, yeah, I think we're going to do that actually, so... No, because if my opponent has a Lightning Bolt, we don't want to lose the Liliana. At this point in time, we could discard the Fatal Push. Let's tick up and see what, see what my opponent does. Okay, so they're just going to discard, they might be discarding Snappy. Um, let's discard, we could discard Fatal Push at this point, or Huntmaster, or Collagans Command, given that the modes of Collagans Command are getting much worse with my opponent's Spell Bomb. Yeah, I think that's fine, hope to find a land for this. Opponent discards. Discard. We know they've got Snap and one unknown. They might be looking for a land for Snap K command. Okay, so they had a fatal push. So they've got Snap Custom Age in hand. So yeah, we'll just um let's get this foothills or try to, yeah, opponent sacrificing that, which is entirely reasonable. Maybe we should have kept hold of the Collagans command, could have dealt with the Snap Custom Mage. Um Okay, so opponent got two cards in hand, of three cards in hand, sorry, of which one of them is Snapcaster Mage. The Royal Scions, um, a bit rough. So you know they've got Snapcaster. Would not mind finding a fetch land here. Yeah, that's, that's rough. Um, so I think now we're just going to tick up Lily. We'll probably ditch now the Huntmaster. Ren and Six can, can attack the Royal Scions. Um, surprised my opponent didn't fetch there so they can snap Collagans command. Maybe they're going to try and snap Custom Mage to snap Custom Mage um, give it to give it haste. This no first strike and trample. Okay, so my opponent's cycling through cards with this. Discards a stub. They've got snap in hand. Thought scour hits nothing of note. They draw a card. Another thought scour. Okay, so find a basic land. Okay, so that's not. I mean, my opponent can now snap, bolt, snap push. That's about it, I think. Okay, so we find a land which is nice. Um, so I think we're going to... We can discard the land, buy it back with Renan 6. 
Uh, my opponent doesn't have anything to deal with that. So yeah, we'll do that so that my opponent doesn't have the information with what they want to do with the snap caster mage. I'm going to play the snap, which is fine. So they find a lightning bolt, which they're probably going to lightning bolt the Liliana. So actually we can discard the push now. Because then we can kill the snap caster mage with Renan 6. Kill the snap caster mage with Renan 6. And then we'll go and get a basic swamp, just concerned with our life total. And we'll see what Blood Braid can hit. Yeah, Goyf is fine. I suppose how much do we care about Renan 6 now? Um, given that we're not going to be able to kill it, I think we just attack my opponent. So I like this position. Um, yeah, we just attack my opponent there because then they're we do have lethal next turn. Opponent has a lightning bolt, which they'll use on the Liliana, which is I don't know if I like that or not. Um Yeah, so we get there. I think that was fine the way we played. Um Yeah, okay, so the planeswalker's getting there there. So that did get quite grindy, but they are running the whole snap cake my loop. We were quite lucky in that we got the spell bombs down and my opponent had a a kind of grindy draw with Snapcaster Mages and Collagans commands and they never really found a threat. That is always the that has always been the problem with um with Shadow. They just they can struggle to find find threats. So Clothis, my opponent seemed very concerned with Clothis, but I think that was probably because it was you know, very good against the hand that they had. Um, don't think we're going to want to make any changes. Um, I think cloth is too slow usually to f to uh, deal with Gurmag Angler. So I think we're just going to submit. Good secret to Shadow back again. Um, maybe I'll I'll add that to the list of decks that I want to try I'll try again. Love Grixis Shadow. Um, love any touch shadow. My usual go to is four colour, and one I've had the most success with. Right, well, this is. It's got an Inquisition. Oh, we can't. Okay. I had thought we could cast Renan 6 on turn 2, but we can't unless we find a green land, so I think we have to mulligan this. If this Baron Moor was a fetch, this would be a really good hand. Alas, it's not, so we have to mulligan. Annoyingly, my opponent has kept seven. Um, that's not really annoying, like, that makes for good games of magic, but, well, I mean, if they've kept seven, well, we're going to have to mulligan. We could risk playing this on turn one, inquisitioning away whatever threat, and then decay and Ren and Six are good cards in the matchup. But I think we're going to mulligan for something slightly better. Oh, this is worse, sadly. This doesn't have black mana in. So now we're just looking for a playable five. Oh, this is a this is a, a real a, a real bummer here. Um yeah, we're gonna have to take another mulligan. We can't keep this hand. This we can keep. Um so we need to get rid of three, so Huntmaster doesn't come down forever. Um, season parameter can gas us back up. We're going to be bottoming a swamp. I think we're going to bottom the pyramids. Like it can draw us back into cards, but yeah, I th I th I th we're going to struggle now. Really, really struggle. Always the the curse of mulliganing, where you uh, we now yearn for our our shipped seven. Um, obviously, our the seven would have been much better than. Than what we had. Okay, so we've drawn a, a decent card in Liliana of the Veil. Um, my opponent hasn't really done too much. Do we want to fetch here? Yeah, I think we're going to 
play out the fetch land gives us the most flexibility probably do want to fetch end of turn given that we're going to definitely want to play the goif next turn um, yeah I wonder if we're going to get a Jund Triome at some point um, that would be awesome because end of this turn if my if my opponent doesn't do anything just finding the Triome would be would be really good so this looking like a potential angler hand either that or they've kept a grindy hand again so my opponent okay opponent didn't like the look of what was on top Thought Scour, Cycle Street Wraith, Thought Scour. So there's a Gurmagangler in the bin. So let's see what they do. If, uh, yeah, we are weak to a turn two Gurmagangler. They might be looking for lands. Targeting themselves. No, they've got a land. Don't like what's on top. So this is, if this is Gurmagangler, hold up stubborn denial. We're in real trouble. Okay, it's not. Gurmagangler, okay, so they don't have a stub. So if we can find a land in order to... How big is my goy? If it's nearly big enough. So, right, we need to get black green here, so we can cast Liliana. No. So this is the trouble with Fatal Push, um, and the trouble with our lack of trophy. So this shows that my opponent doesn't have... Okay, Pulse is good as well. Uh, we're gonna. We need to find a land next turn. So this is probably saying that my opponent has. Um, another angler in hand is what I'm putting them on. I think because they, they didn't. Um, they were gonna block here. They didn't delve out the maximum. They they tapped out. I would have if I was playing. I think I would have at least represented a, a stubborn denial snapcaster okay well so they're going to snap thought seize which is fair because I've got two answers to Gurmag Angler oh no I don't anymore because they're going to take the pulse I would imagine because now they can sacrifice the angler yes we find the land which is nice so going to Liliana of the Veil Um, there's no creature in the bin, so if we can, let's make my opponent sacrifice a creature, and then my goif becomes bigger than the angler. I don't hate attacking here. We lose the Liliana, but we put them to four. Yeah, I think we'll attack. See what my opponent's got. Another angler is it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I did think they had another angler. But my goif is now a six-seven. We've got an answer for a shadow. Opponent going to two for a shadow and a channeler. This is not too bad. Um, I would imagine this attacks me. Got two cards in hand. Yeah, okay, my read was slightly wrong. Oh, um, maybe they wanted to keep land uh, spells in hand for... Spells in the graveyard for this. I mean, this gets a, this is a little bit awkward for my opponent. They've kind of got a good board presence now. Do they, they know I've got the fatal push. Okay, so they're killing the Liliana, which is fine. So, I haven't got Bolt in hand. Blood Bray is not bad though, so we're going to kill the Shadow right now. And then Goyf gets to kill the Channeler. I knew I had the Bolt. Oh, they push. So yeah, we're attacking. Opponent could have Team of Battle Rage, but we're not too. So we are at 14 life. Um, this is why I like Goyf over Angler. Angler takes a lot of setup, and this Goyf has taken no setup at all, and it's a 6 7. Um, oh, Colgan's command's annoying. Buying back. Oh, they're buying back Death Shadow. Okay. So, we've got a lot of removal in my deck. That was a good, good find from my opponent. 
We're in this though. Were well, they dead to a fatal push? Were they dead to any of our removal? Oh, that is not what you want to see. We could we just need we needed to draw a removal spell there. Um, well, Inquisition. We might as well. Oh, dismember. Yeah. This is annoying though, because now we've got to block the shadow. And we, yeah, we can't really win now. I don't think. Yeah, uh, muddling to four was awful here. We have to block the shadow. Got a chump. Yeah, this is really annoying. Find another goif, but we're just dead. Yeah, that's frustrating. Um, don't think there was much we could have done there. Um, oh, there's Colligan's command. If we'd have drawn that instead, we would have had le we would have just had lethal. Um, Renan Six doesn't do it. But we had a lot of draws there that, that do do just kill my my opponent. Um, just unfortunate that, that we didn't get them on this occasion. Um, so yeah, unfortunately we have to take the loss. Um, two close games. Um, very annoying there, but. Um, yeah, see you back here for round number three. Okay, welcome back to round number three. Uh, we are finally on the play. Um, hmm. Double discard. I think we're going to keep this in the blind. Um, yeah, keep this in the blind and then try and cloth this. Hopefully draw some, some good spells. Um, yeah, off the back of a couple of close losses, but it is good to be able to think about this. Um, Good to uh, play against. It's like it's uh, two years ago playing against Dredge and then Grixis Death Shadow. Um, yeah, liking that. Okay, so this is taxes. So I don't think we care about Vile. They're probably going to play that turn one. Uh, is this a non land? Okay. So I think we're going to take the Sculler and then. <coughs> I'm just going to try and rob them all their creatures. So take Scholar, then we'll take Arbiter. Yeah. I don't think we care too much about Aether Vial. They often side it out against us, I believe. Okay, so that's not too bad, because we can cycle that way. Um, which I think we can do anyway, so we might as well cycle that now. Okay, so we're in for hills. So we need to get green and red, but we also need to get black for this turn. So we're going to get blood clip this turn. We've got basic forest. And we are going to want to get our fetching done asap, given my opponent's my opponent's hand, uh, my opponent's uh, list. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to take this arbiter. Surprised my opponent didn't do Ether Vial on one. Seems a bit, a bit silly. I guess they might have been holding up path, but doesn't seem right. Um, okay, so this would have to fetch and shock. We've got enough lands. I don't think we care about fetching really. So I don't think we've drawn any spells yet, which is very irritating. <coughs> I mean, our, we're lining up kind of well against what our opponent's trying to do. Oh, a Drowsy Temple. I mean, this isn't actually too bad. Like, given this is the best it could have worked out, given that we have nothing, we've drawn nothing. <laughs> um, it's a big, big creature. Oh, we're just drawing no spells. Um, let's exile this. That's let's hide all the skulls as an artifact to leave in the bin in case we draw a Tarmogoyf. Um, we are going to go ahead and play. Oh, uh, yeah, this is fine. Although, actually, I might just fetch now. I'm no, I think this is fine. I, it's the question is, it's having a fetch land available to trigger revolt for to kill a push if we draw uh, to kill Thornless here if we draw a push, versus wanting to fetch around um, another arbiter. We've drawn no spells this turn, which is um this game, which is really irritating. 
Oh, and then my opponent's drawn really well there. Um, oh my goodness, what is going on here? Um, yeah, we, 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 I, I'm not sure we could have done anything here. Um, we started out with three spells in hand, Inquisition, Thoughtseize, and the, the Clothis. Um, we, uh, we had a good start, but now we're, we're really struggling. Uh, my opponent finding Thalia. Oh, crikey. Um, how do we... Can we even do anything now, whatever we draw? My opponent's got a Wasteland Strike. Yeah, that, this is just over. Um, yeah, I mean, we just... You know, we... Gonna reveal my hand, like, it's a bit... Uh, bit of a... Like, yeah, nothing we could have done there. Um... That's magic sometimes, I suppose. <laughs> okay, so we're going to bring in the Plague Engineers, kills Thalia, and, you know, naming our Drazi is not the worst. Um, Ancient Grudge, probably not good enough. Collective Brutality kills a lot of their things. Um, Clothis is okay. I don't think we're that interested in him. Renan 6 is great. Crox is good. Um, I feel like the discard can be trimmed. On the play, we'll keep in Liliana of the Veils. False, Cargan's Command, all good. Uh, let's get rid of this Clothis. What do we think about this? Um, I'd quite like to bring in a Huntmaster. That is quite expensive. Um, Blood Braid is slightly good against. Thalia, so we'll always switch one of those about. Let's go with that. Yeah, worth noting the interaction with, with Bloodbraid Elf and Thalia. Um, if you cascade into a spell, you have to pay the one if it's a non creature spell. Um, and you also don't get a chance to, um, to crack a fetch. So if you're going to be cascading on turn 5 and you've got a free mana um, you want to fetch first so that you can pay the tax for, for Thalia if, you, if you're playing Blood Bridal. So this sounds okay. Um, so we're going to play this and pass. Want to be fe we want to be fetching um, early because of Leon in Arbiter. Nothing for my opponent. So we'll get a... we want to get green black I would say. So overgrown tomb. No. So no turn one for my opponent. Uh okay, so we hit a land, which is nice. I think we're just gonna shock this in. Play croc. So if my opponent wants to path this, we're A okay with that. Um Get rid of Flicker Wisp, which isn't too bad. Um, let's see what my opponent plays now. We've got Vault, we've got Trophy, we've got Plague Engineer. Tired Hollow Sculler. Okay, so we have ways of killing this. Wouldn't be surprised to see the Bolt go. Yeah, because it kills this. Um, okay, so we find land. We're going to play that now. Obviously, it gives my opponent perfect information, but. So, what are we naming with this Plague Engineer? Or we could hold up Trophy. This is the trouble with Trophy. You know, we, I'd, I'd love, to, if this was Decay, I'd love to just hold up Decay. We don't really want to give my opponent any more lands. So this is a zombie, just a zombie. We don't know anything about my opponent's hand. So we could name Human for Thalia. We could name Elemental for this. Is that a Spirit? No, just an elemental. Um, we could name Eldrazi because they just run a lot of Eldrazi. Um, human for Thalia. They run Arbiter, which is a cleric. We could just name Zombie so that oh, we've got a profitable block here. Oh, 
we could just trophy this, bolt something end of turn, and then blood braid, but we don't really want to give my opponent more mana. I think it's too early to use a trophy. I think we're going to go Plague Engineer. So what's the... what? What? I guess we name the highest upside. What really don't we want to see? We don't want to see a Thalia. I think we're just going to go Human. Like a Thalia here interacts with our Blood Braid Elf in the way that we I said before, um, you know, if, if we play a land and then cascade into a Liliana, this is Thought Not See. That's not too bad. I will block here. Liliana's interesting. Liliana's very interesting um, because then we can hold up Lightning Bolt as well. This does. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm in for Liliana here. Because we still get to attack then for two. Attack for two. <coughs> um, opponent can play Thought Loss here. Oh, that's a good point. I would have quite liked to, I suppose, be able to sacrifice a Thought Loss here. Uh, this could be oh this could be oh displacer that's a good good bolt this card's really good in this list yeah so we're gonna bolt here more than happy to bolt that another Liliana's a nice draw um, I think we'll tick yeah we'll tick up we'll pitch the trophy here. Our opponent gets rid of a ghost quarter. We could Liliana again tick up, but I think we're just going to slam Bloodbraid Elf. Our opponent may have a path, but this two for one is, is what we want. Uh, we find a Colgan's command, um, so it's not the best given that um, my opponent. Uh, oh, we get an Arbiter out of their hand. Um, yeah, given that our rest in peace is stopping us getting back a creature. But my opponent only has one card in hand. They don't know what we've got. Um Okay, I get that Oh, this is a human, which is good. Um Apparition sure gonna get rid of the Liliana? Oh no, get rid of the Plague Engineer and then they can attack the Liliana for two. Okay, let's see what we draw. That's a very nice draw. So, um, we'll attack with the Blood Braid and then in my opponent's draw step we will. Although we could. Oh, my opponent is at five. I think we let them attack, actually. Mm. No, I don't think we do. So I'm going to. So what I'm worried about. So we could let them attack, and then we attack with Blood Braid Elf, and that's lethal. With K Command. But I don't want them to find Wasteland Strangler, essentially. Although they can Wasteland Strangler anyway. Uh, if they find Thought Knots here, yeah, this is fine. I'm going to do this, and then we get a 3... We get a 3-3 three, three, uh, token as well. Yeah, okay, so they found something they want. Or they're just getting more information. Cargans command a good clean answer there. Uh, we get the token back. Yeah, Wasteland Strangler. Yeah, it is a Wasteland Strangler. Um, feeling pretty smart about that. Is it minus? Oh, it's minus three. Hmm. 
thought so he's not a good draw. Um, I th think we're happy to attack first. See if my opponent blocks. They do block, so we get to empty their board here. Make them sacrifice a creature. And then I feel like we're in pretty good shape. We've got a nurturing peatland. Oh, it is fine. Red and six, not exactly what we want. Um, so we'll tick up, get rid of this thought seize. We'll draw a card, because we'll see. Okay, that's a bit irritating. Play run and six. Um, yeah, we're just going to start pinging my opponent, get them into bolt range. Play a land, say go. Opponent will probably attack Liliana here. Um, I think I'm happy to just keep pinging, making a... Uh... Oh, Raging Ravine's a good draw. Not sure what our opponent has. Uh, they might be running the Destroy Land effects. Okay, looking like they can't deal with this Raging Ravine. Okay. Not sure what my opponent had in hand there. Um, yeah, that's fine. So we would have, yeah, ticked up the round and then, yeah. Well, we could have just slapped them with the uh, Raging Ravine, which is nice. So let's see what we want. Ancient Grudge, obviously, we don't want that now. Um, they didn't show us an Aether Vial. I don't think they're taking they're, they, they probably sideboarded them all out. Might be worth getting rid of this discard. Um, so they brought in Rest in Peace. Rest in Peace against Jund isn't the best. It deals with Renan 6, but Renan 6 kind of still ping. Deals with Croxa, deals with Goyf. But it's not the best. I kind of want to take out... Mm, no, I think on the play we need some sort of discard effect. I'd like to bring in some more grindy stuff, but I just don't think we can. Um, yeah, I think that's how we just go about getting run over. And um, we want some early interaction. Don't want to hire the curve too much. Okay, so we'll be on the draw here. We find Inquisition to Goyf into Liliana, so um, I think we're happy with this. Um, Drazi Temple. Okay, so they've kept Ether Vial in. Brutality is a nice draw. So we're going to fetch first again, playing around Leon in Arbiter. We need to get black green. Overgrown Tomb. Inquisition, my opponent. Oh, so they've got a Bitter Blossom. They've only got one land. Um, I think we're going to say Bitter Blossom. That makes well. Displace is really annoying, but Bitter Blossom we're going to struggle to beat. Well, they can't play the Bitter Blossom yet unless they find a land. We could just play, take the path. <coughs> so my opponent heavily reliant on this Ether Vial. Am I okay with my opponent pathing my Tarmogoyf, is the question. They haven't got path mana either. So a Drazi Displacer is very annoying. Bitter Blossom will grow the Goyf enormously. Can we beat a Bitter Blossom? I think we can beat all the rest of these cards. I think we'd struggle to beat this. Um, so yeah, we're going to take the Bitter Blossom, like that makes Tarmogoyf enormous. Um, we kind of don't want my we opponent to find lands. Um, oh, they found one. Um, ok, 
Okay, so they've got a path. They've got a lot of gas in hand, so I think we might just be playing Croxa. Oh no, they can't path my Karmagoyf. So yeah, we're just gonna... Oh no, they couldn't cast anything because it's a colourless land. Okay. So let's just, yeah, play a Swamp. Get a Goyf... Oh, wrong colour. Get a Tarmogoyf down. He's a 4-5. Um, tribal Enchantment adding two less common types. Um, yeah, sizable Goyf there. My opponent missing a land... Okay, so now I think. Okay, we don't want to play out the Verdant Catacombs now. We want to play out a a land, a different land. Because if we, if I play out the Catacombs, try and fetch, and then I get Leon and Arbitred, we're just so in trouble. Then, given that we've drawn a land, I think we probably just discard. Um, we could discard Croxer. I think we'll just discard the catacombs. Opponent gets rid of a wasteland strangler. Goyf's now a five six. <coughs> Want to save this brutality really for a um uh, I thought I say is pretty good. Uh, and then they can they can do stuff like that. Okay, we find a blood crypt. Um, so we can't crocs in out anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, we're just definitely discarding. Uh, hmm. Should we attack first? No. Have you sacrifice a creature? Opponent might want to flash in a creature. No, they're deciding to go with that. Oh, we find a blood braid elf, which is interesting. Um, <coughs> so we know my opponent's got wastelands. We know a lot of my opponent's cards. Uh, if my opponent flashes in wasteland strangler, although processing my crocs is pretty good. Uh, they can give this minus three, which will make it a two, three. Oh, I accidentally passed priority. Okay. That looks like that's my decision over. Oh, that's really annoying. Because now I can't... Yeah, I, do, I needed to play Bloodbraid Elf there. Um, yeah, that is irritating, actually. Um... Actually, we don't really want to attack with Blood Braid. Because we'd rather... Uh, but they're going to flash in... Uh, Jazzy Displace is going to be really irritating. Process the s they play the strangler. If they play the strangler, it kills the bloodbraid elf. Yeah, I think I will. This is a bit silly. I've done it the wrong way round, but I think I do now want to play my my bloodbraid elf. Um, oh, assassin's trophy. This is the exact problem with assassin's trophy. Maybe we should have waited until we could have cast removal. Oh, they can't? No, we're not casting that. Like, yeah, we're not casting that. Yeah, this is. We just lost kind of tempo here. We didn't. The, yeah, the reason we're not doing that is because it gives our opponent a white mana to cast path and god knows what. So my opponent can flash in the displacer and then I can't kill this which is irritating. We do get Croxer at some point. 
essentially this turn to be fair. That's not a goif. Uh so yeah, it's just goif, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit of a misplay there, but we do get Okay, so I'm happy for them to do that. Okay, so they can do that, which is annoying. Um, so we can escape Croxer, which is interesting. Although killing this, taking their path, playing a Goyf is much better, right? Yeah. So we're going to escalate this twice. Because we can't kill this otherwise, because they just blink it. So we're going to do two of these, this, 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 get rid of a peat and, oh, rest in peace. Oh yeah, but they haven't got white mana. So we'll take the path, and we'll play a goif. Another s it's now a 7-8. Mm, this is a bit awkward if my, oh, this is very awkward. If my opponent finds a white mana source, we're, we might just lose the game to that. Because rest in peace takes away Croxer. Yeah, we possibly should have cast Croxer. Okay. Actually, no, Croxer just dies to Eldrazi Displacer. Um, yeah, so this was fine. I think my opponent did get unlucky there, not finding white mana. Um, if they found white mana that turn, they could rest in peace. Yeah, I think I messed up a little bit with the Bloodbraid Elf. Um, But yeah, I think uh, on the whole that's fine. Um, I think the cards we took were f were f reasonable, um, and like not trophying was key, because yeah, it just kept all of these these cards trapped in in my opponent's hand. So okay, um, finally win one, <laughs> close one, but nonetheless. Um, see you back again for round number four. Okay, welcome to round number four. We are on the play. Um, right, what do we think about this? Probably okay in the blind, bit land heavy again, but we've got an Inquisition turn one and then Season Pyromancer to cycle through some cards, so yeah, we're going to keep. Um, <coughs> leading with Blackleaf Cliffs into Inquisition, take no damage, which is nice. Um, we see it's elves. So glad we put that um, those plague engineers in the uh, in the side. So they've got forest. In, they've only got one mana, um, and they've got one Lanor Owl. So Lanor Owls dies to a Renin Six if we draw it. But I think we're just going to take the Lanor Owls there. <coughs> Um, we don't have any removal for it, and they've got a lot of powerful cards in hand. But it looks like we want to, you know, choke them on mana potentially. Um, so I want to try and keep the board as clear as possible for as long as possible. We just mm, throw more lands there isn't great. Um, we just want to <coughs> just stop them having this explosive start that we just can't recover from um, until we can deploy our our sort of heavy hitters, goifs, and Season Pyromancers and Bloodbraid Elves. <coughs> okay, looks like my opponent might be short on lands. Okay, so they found another Nettle Sentinel. So we know five of the cards in their hand. How do we only know five? They drew one, which was Nettle Sentinel. Don't know. We know f we know four of them anyway, so let's go and get. <coughs> what land are we going to want to play next turn? Probably stomping ground. We've got both the other shock lands, so should we just get a blood crypt? Yeah, we'll get another blood crypt. <coughs> okay, now, okay, so we've drawn loads of lands. This is where pirates is really good. Um, so we'll. Play an overgrown tomb and then use Pyromancer to cycle through some of these lands. Hopefully, find some more 
action. Uh, they definitely count as action. Um, pretty good in the matchup. So, and they block Nettle Sentinels. Now the question is, do I want to block a Nettle Sentinel with my Season Pyro Mentor? I think so. We can make tokens with this down the line. Um, as I say, we just need to get through as many elves as we we can. Keep the board as clear as possible. I'm happy to take this block. Nettle Sentinels can generate mana with Heritage Druid very well, so I'm happy with that. There's a Heritage Druid. So, yeah, that would have... Um, I, I would have, wouldn't have done that if I was my opponent, I don't think. Um, I, I think they were hoping to get the damage in, me not block, and then they can Heritage Druids tap for three mana, because they'd set Nettle Sentinels on tap when they cast this. But, was it worth the, the the potential for damage. Don't know. I mean, <coughs> my opponent might not have some might have something else in hand that means that that was the play they wanted to make, which is fine. Um, I'm just a bit a little bit surprised because now I get a very good turn where I can just run and six kill the Heritage Druid for you know great value. Um, <coughs> play out a land. Playing out the fetch here. We don't really want to draw a card because we're going to want enough mana next turn to cast Blood Braid Elf. Um, and we're also probably going to want to make some tokens with Season Pyromancer um, before for my opponent before I sacrifice this peatland. Um, okay, so Elvish Warmaster. <coughs> um, we kind we like to kill that really with something. Um, so I think we just go and get another Blood Crypt. Got a Peatland. I know they both these have two toughness. Liliana the Veil vale is pretty nice. Um, and I think we're gonna cast Liliana instead of Blood Break, because then we can Renan Six as well. Yeah, that's fine. So this, this, and this. So we could make them discard. We know that they've got some good stuff in hand, but again, I think we're just going to keep the board as clear as we can. <coughs> Try and take maximum advantage of my opponent's sort of slow start. They get rid of the Warmaster, which is pretty, pretty interesting. Um, maybe they've got another Heritage Druid in hand. Um, we'll go ahead and tick up Renan Six. Uh, we'll get back a Bloodstained Mire. <coughs> Take potentially slightly less damage than if we want to shock in. Um, okay, so we're not in too bad a spot. We can make tokens with Season Pyramid, so we can play Blood Braid Elf. Um, we've got a land that we can, we can sack. This attacks Lily, which is fine. Um, you know, Lily just an uh, expensive removal spell there, but again, we're happy to kill whatever elf we can. Opponent's still looking for lands. Running six shuts them off one of any of their mana dorks now, really. Two mana. It's another war master. Okay. <coughs> That's not too bad. So we would like to see any sort of removal spells really. Another Liliana. Um I think then, given that we've drawn that, we can't quite do everything. So I think We'll fetch just a basic and we'll sacrifice the peatland. Don't really want to take any more damage from the peatland. Looking for removal really, or push us bolt. No, nah, that's not great. Um, I think we'll... Let's go ahead and blood braid elf now, I think. Uh, I mean, given that it was right to Liliana last turn, is it just right to... Um, Liliana again. Yeah, I think I'm going to Liliana actually. Just again, keep their board as clear as possible. Um, they have to attack Liliana, which gains us essentially gains us some life. Liliana's essentially saying, um, "Oh, we can buy back Pete Land as well, which is nice." Um, and then 
Yeah, pass the turn. We've got two planeswalkers again. My opponent's still short on land. If they get to this collected company, we're in a little bit of trouble. They haven't really got a clock. My opponent's still at 20 life. Opponent just concedes, which is um, <coughs> a little bit premature, maybe, but we have Blood Braid Elf. Um, we're going to start drawing two cards. Turn. Okay, there's a pulse. You know, we're drawing well. Um, so I think we probably would have got there. So against elves, so Thought Seize is possibly out. Um, <coughs> just because it costs us life. Collective Brutality kills an elf and can take uh, Collective Company. Plague Engineer is obviously really strong. Um, I think we want all of these cards. Goyf's good because it blocks. Crocs is bigger than anything they do. Decay and Trophy kill things. Renin 6 is obviously great against a one toughness creature. So on the draw, Liliana there we saw wasn't, you know, wasn't amazing. Um, <coughs> want to find the only thing I'm really wanting to find room is this Huntmaster. Um, I think we'll definitely bring one in. Uh, just because it blocks so well, it gains us life. Um, do we cut an Inquisition for another Huntmaster? Do we want? More clothis. I don't think clothis is amazing, although it does gain us life and is a clock. But it's not actually doing. I think that. Okay, I'm going to cut one of those. I'm going to bring in another Liliana. I'm going to keep three Lilianas. Um, just yeah, as an expensive removal spell, it can, as I say, that if they attack it, it essentially gains us life. Okay, we're snap keeping this. Um, it's got a plague engineer. No early removal, which is a bit annoying, but if we can find a land, Plague Engine is obviously really good, and we've got a turn two Goyf to block. <coughs> um, so we, yeah, we'll, we'll keep this. Would rather this Bloodbraid Elf was either a land or a Lightning Bolt or an Inquisition. Any of those would be great. Uh, opponent, nothing on turn one. Okay, push is really good. So. Um, we're probably we're gonna need to fetch and shock here anyway, so yeah, this is this is fine. That's a really good draw. Now we want to draw a land, really. Um, what are we afraid of from our opponent? Um, guilt leave revealing Elvish Warmaster. That will just get instantly fatal pushed because this generates tokens that we s well we don't struggle to deal with the plague in there, I guess. Um, but I want to use my mana here. It grows the Tarmogoyf. Uh, do elves run Veil of Summer at all? Not sure they do. Okay, so that's a good draw because that lets us do whatever we want next turn. Um, but for now, we're just going to cast our Goyf. It's a 3 4. <coughs> so we're slightly ahead on board at the end of turn 2. Um, we've dodged my opponent's blisteringly fast starts where you know you do turn one nettle sentinel and turn two you do like heritage druid and nettle sentinel and go off making a million elves on turn two another war master um, there's the war master and it looks like they have a creature Mm, okay, Heritage Druid is frustrating there because this is what I mean. They now get to tap three and put th put more elves into play. <coughs> okay, so that's not too bad because we get to kill two things with Plague Engineer. Ren and Six is another good draw. So, um, are we attacking? I think we're going to attack here. Yeah, we'll attack. We need to actually win the game. Um, opponent takes three. Plague Engineer naming Elf. Obviously very good here. I always suppose hate this card for for good reason. So we will choose elf, kill two of your elves, um, and shrink the rest. 
And now Renan 6 can kill two toughness creatures, which is obviously very good for us. Um, could do with killing this Realm Walker, um, that is card advantage, they can play, play elves from the top of their deck. No, uh, okay, so this is stinking of a collected company, that's a very good draw though. Um, so we'll do this. <coughs> Minus. Okay, so they could have collected company here. If they hit an, a lord, then this won't kill this. Um, but then we can bolt the lord and it will kill it anyway. Okay, let's see what we've got. It's a collected company and they hit. What do they hit? So looking for something that gives elves plus one plus one, so to save this elvish war master. Um, <coughs> this will make a token, but it was die to plague engineer. Okay, so they have another realm walker, which yeah, that's annoying. Uh, so that's just going to make a token, and it just dies. So now, hmm, I think we're just. Do we attack with? I don't think we're attacking with Plague Engineer. If they double block, though, we're pretty happy. But I think I want to keep Renan Six around. Obviously, no point in bolting, bolting an elf hit a Realm Walker. Now they've got two. Um, okay. Opponent could have another collected company. Um, we've got a lightning bolt, which is obviously very good. Waiting to pay costs. Uh, that's another nettle sentinel, which we don't really care about too much. Plague engineer putting a, a big shift here. Looks like that was from hand. Obviously my opponent kind of stuck in that they can't cast spells with with one <coughs> toughness and in fact that is enough to just win the game. Um, Plague Engineer just pretty much winning that game by itself. So we've come back from a 0-2 uh, start, losing some close games, perhaps 1-2, and two, but we're now 2-2. Two and two. Um, So try and cash the league next, go 3-2. Um, so yeah, join us again for round number 5. Okay, welcome to round number five. Going for that three-two, the classic, uh, classic Jund record. <laughs> um, on the draw, it's a little bit annoying with this sort of hand. Um, on the play, this is obviously amazing. But I think anything with turn two, run and six is often an offence land. Is obviously is often a keep. Um, these two blood braid elves going to kind of right hand for a while. Um, but we will keep this. Um, <coughs> River of Tears. So, thinking that this is a uh, black mana Inquisition. Okay, so River of Tears into Inquisition. What do we think this is? Have I ever seen River of Tears in? What have I seen it in? So, blue black control. Grixis control, possibly mill, but I'd be surprised if they have main deck inquisition, I suppose. Um, Blue Tron runs River of Tears, but they don't run inquisition main. Taking a Maelstrom Pulse, so yeah, we're not really sure what this is now. Okay, Swamp, not the best draw in our deck, but. See what's next from my opponent. The Sultai list used to play this. Okay, so blue black this blue black something. Fairies? Do they are they usually run this, do they? Don't know. Um let's go and get a let's go and get a blood crypt. Okay, so we're gonna go for this mm. More lands isn't ideal, but uh, at, least it, at least this land attacks. So, we're going to... Uh, what do we get? We could get a basic forest. 
Um, what do we think we're against though? Is it worth it? So basic forest can cast all of our spell. Oh no, basic forest isn't amazing when we've got crocs to consider. So yeah, let's get an overgrown tomb. I'll try this Renin Six. Uh, if it's fairies, I would not be surprised to see the flash spell sputter spell stutter sprite. Could be spell snare. Could be mana leak. We really don't know what we're against yet, but we're just jamming this Renin Six anyway. We've got two of them. Okay, Drown in the Lock. So, yeah, Drown in the Lock. <coughs> yeah, okay, so against that sort of deck, I'm quite happy to have my two my two Bloodbraid Elves here. Um, another River of Tears, so multiple River of Tears. Liliana, Bitter Blossom, oh, it's a Liliana, which is um, a little bit frustrating. But we can discard... Let's discard Raging Ravine. Or we could play that. Yeah, let's discard Raging Ravine. Um, an untapped land gives us the most most chance to uh, find a spell. So we could decay this. I th hmm, we're going to need a land though. They're discarding good stuff. How much do I care about... I think we're just going to get the Renin 6 down. This is a bit of a risk. Um, we're at risk of being thought seized. Um, so we'll buy back the Raging Ravine. And play the Raging Ravine. Yeah, just a bit of a risk that we get. We get thought seized here. And they take the Abrupt Decay. <coughs> Although we're probably Bloodbraid Elfing anyway next turn instead. Um, so this is blue black mid range by the look of it. Three mana. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Okay, so this famously dies to Bloodbraid Elf. Um, may the Fate Seal ask to keep the Jace around. Okay, put it on top, so we're probably... Okay, so we're going to discard a land. There's probably a land on top. And we can get the land back with Renin 6. Okay, so there's a Blood Crypt. Um, okay, so I think we're going to... We're going to Blood Braid Elf. And then we'll decide what we want to do with Renin 6 afterwards. I think. We're not going to do anything to Lily here. So we wouldn't mind finding Lightning Bolt, Maelstrom Pot, well Maelstrom Pot is gone, Trophy. Uh, what spell did we hit? Is that Fatal Push? Oh, uh, that's pretty much the worst it could be. Um, Yeah, really wanted to hit a uh, an impact spell there. Uh, so we'll attack Jace. Would imagine we get edicted by my opponent next turn. Um, so I think I'm going to ping Jace, and then Renan Six can potentially finish that off next turn. Or we can get a land. Renin 6 and activate Raging Ravine. Yeah, Liliana and Jace, again, this is something I've always wanted to make work, but Liliana and Jace kind of fight against each other. You know, Liliana trying to make people hellbent and have no cards in a Teferi Master of Time. Okay, that's quite a good draw for my opponent. I guess they put it back on top. With, no, they didn't. They haven't brainstormed Jace. So yeah, finding multiple lands here. Well, they have tapped out for it. <coughs> this target creature phases out. Yeah. Um. Fate sealing us. They put it on top, which is irritating. Um. I 
Okay, so we sacrificed Bloodbraid Elf. We've got another Bloodbraid Elf. <coughs> oh, I suppose they can phase out my Bloodbraid Elf, which is annoying. Is it target creature? Ugh. Um, so it could just decay here, but I don't like that. This is just going to phase it out, so... Yeah, we're kind of in trouble here. Well, this needs to hit something big, really. Oh, Inquisition. We are not hitting well here. We're going to cast it because we don't want to find any more. We've just really struggled with these... Um, with these Bloodbraid Elves. We really needed that to... Uh, to find us something. Uh, we'll attack Jace. Yeah, so we're now... Uh, we could kill Teferi here, uh, which isn't the worst. Although uh, Liliana's going to make us sacrifice a creature. Yeah, let's kill Teferi. At least we get to kill something. Then we do have Raging Ravine next turn. So if, my, if Liliana... Okay, uh, they can't actually make me sacrifice this. So actually I, I lose um, Abrupt Decay, which is a little annoying. Oh, they keep putting it on top, so that implies we're finding more lands. I don't know if my opponent knows we've got the Abrupt Decay. They haven't brainstormed yet, which is uh, interesting. They can't make a sacrifice this. Um, but we can fire up Raging Ravine. It's got one card in hand. Deciding whether they want. I'm surprised they're not brainstorming, really. Um. Let's draw. Seeing what's on. You know, drawing cards and then pitching ones they don't want to Liliana. Okay, so they discard another Liliana. Okay, so we don't. We're not too bad here because we get to activate Ravine. Uh, we find another land. Um. Okay, so this is actually not too bad, because we can kill Jace here. Which I think we do, because Liliana's... Okay, so this will attack... This could kill Liliana... No, we're going to kill Jace, it draws some cards. So we'll attack Jace with this, and then we'll finish it off with Renan 6, and we'll attack Liliana with Bloodbraid Elf, so they can't make a sacrifice a creature. Raging Ravine's so good, I love Raging Ravine. Both their Planeswalkers go to one. We'll kill Jace. Um, we might as well play this Overgrown Tomb. They know we've got it and they're going to have to tick up their Liliana. So they can't make a sacrifice a creature. Um, yeah. I don't know, I don't, I, don't, I don't know why my opponent wasn't sort of brainstorming then. Opponent finds a land. Um, well, we get a Collagans command, so we'll tick up Ren. Just buy back a swamp. Which we might not play. We could Collagans come up. We've got options here. <coughs> I think what we want to do, I think we're going to do the whole draw step discard my opponent. Could we, uh, could we have done that? Could we have done both if I play the land? Raging Ravine costs four to activate. No, we couldn't. Okay. So we're going to draw step discard my opponent. Um, worth note, we're going to kill the Liliana in case they draw a counter spell. Oh, we could have. Oh, yeah, that was bad play actually. I could have. Collagans come on, kill Liliana, buy back Bloodbraid Elf. Should have considered that. Um, what I should have done is play the swamp, um, and then yeah, played the swamp, and then Collagans command, kill Liliana, buy back Bloodbraid Elf, and then um, yeah, because then I have two Bloodbraid Elves. Um, as it is, we'll keep going with the plan. So it turns out a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. I suppose we get an extra card out of their hand this way potentially. 
Um, but I think I prefer the other line. Especially if they've now found... I mean, this predicts us from a top deck to Planeswalker or Damnation. Okay, Gifts Ungiven. That's an interesting one. So, okay, blue-black. So this is probably the Bruner combo. Uh, we are a little soft to this. If they have... If they go gift, uh, unburial rights, what have you. Yeah, good draw for my opponent. Um, okay, so they've just gone for a value one. My opponent does have to discard a card. Um, so either way they're going to get Jace Friend's Prodigy. So um, how much do we care? Snap so Snapcast, we want to take the two for ones essentially. Um, so put them into the graveyard. So we'll have Snapcast into the graveyard and Unearth into the graveyard because they could cast Unearth this turn as well. Um, yeah, and then they have to dis oh they have to discard a card, which is fine, I suppose. They'll have to discard. Uh, so they discard Jace Friend's Prodigy. So we know they have Goro's Vengeance in hand. That's yeah, that's not too bad. Um, wouldn't mind finding something that makes them discard that last card. Um, finding more lands, not exactly what we want. Um, so we'll cast Bloodbraid Elf. Uh, no, we'll, we'll activate Renan Six first, in case we get another Renan Six. So Crocs is great here. Collagen's command, any sort of discard spell. We'll take a season pyromancer. Ugh, fatal push again. Um, that is not what we want, really. Um, we'll play a land. We have not hit incredibly well with um with our with our bloodbraid elves this league. Um this is pre-sideboard, so they find an island. So they've got Goro's Vengeance, and then they get Jace. They activate Jace, and then it transforms into a Planeswalker. Um, oh, opposite. Um, hmm, okay, so... Annoying that they found that, because now they can Goryeo's Vengeance this back. It gains haste. Yeah, that's um, that's annoying. Um, so we do get to kill Jace, but this is gonna start bashing us. Okay, killing Renan Six is actually good for us there, because we can now. I think we're just racing now. So this is pretty good for my opponent. When does that come back in? Um, owner's control at the beginning of your next upkeep. Okay, so we can block it as well. Does it gain them two life as well? Yes. Okay, so we'll get a stomping ground. Oh, accidentally got forest. Um, no cards in hand for my opponent. Oh, we draw lands, not what we want. Um, so, how much do we care about Jace? I don't think we do. So this, we're definitely activating a Raging Ravine.
Um, so we hit them for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They go to 5. They go to uh, 7. But then this will be, yeah, I think we're just, I think we're just going for it now. Um, Jace can give, how much is it? Minus 2, minus 0. Oh, is it worth killing Jace? So if we kill Jace, we bash them for 8 down. No, I think I'm just attacking. Um, I think we're just, we're just going for it. Like The Raging Ravine can't be targeted by Jace. Um, we're smashing them for quite a lot of damage there. We get a 5. Depends on what my opponent draws. Um, so I return this. It's a 5-5. Five, five. They're going to tick up on this, but then Raging Ravine is le Raging Ravine and a Blood Braid are lethal together. So it really depends on what my opponent's drawn. We don't want them to have drawn... Okay, so they draw a land. I think that's possibly just it, because they have to exile this. Yeah, I think we made the right decision there, getting, getting aggro. Um, no attacks. Oh, you may exile. Okay, sure. Didn't actually realise that was a may ability. Um, play a land. Yeah, I think we're going to go for it, because Raging Ravine is lethal, and it will kill this. Um, we are going to attack Jace this turn. So, one, two, three, four. Activate this. So that's a far... Oh, it's not quite lethal. Um, have they got anything? Oh, yeah, they've got a gift in hand, so we need to attack Jace for at least one. What's this at the beginning of your end step? So this will attack them, and so we might as well attack them with this one as well. If we attack them with everything, they have to kill the opposite at. But then, yeah, we need to we do want, we want to take this off so they can't gifts next turn or unearth or yeah we need to we need to deal Jace at least one damage. So I think we attack this. So this is six. So we need to deal it. Yeah, so we attack this at my opponent, which will be six. And then we need, if we send this one at my opponent, that will be seven. And then they might, how are they going to block? They'd, they block here, keep Obzadat. They block here, keep Obzadat, but then Jace would die. Yeah, that's the way. So attack this one with them. So that's five, six, seven lethal. They haven't got anything in the graveyard they can do. Um, and then this one attacks Jace. Yes, if they they have to block one of these creatures. That's six. Yeah, I'm just making absolutely sure my maths is right here. Okay, so that's the attacks we're making. So they have to block. They'll probably block. They might block this blood blade, blood braid elf. No, they do block this, um, which I think is fine for us. Um, and then we'll play this clothis, and then pass the turn. Yeah. So yeah, there we just we, we needed to kill Jace to stop them doing all sorts of stuff because he can flashback cards. So what probably happens is he flashbacks unearth. Which flash, which puts Snapcast onto the field, which then gets to cast Gifts Ungiven, and then you know we could be in all kinds of trouble. Okay, so uh, Surgical is an it's probably a good option. Now we definitely want the spell bombs. We probably want brutality. Um, it is quite grindy, but they're a control deck with, with counter spells. Um, I don't think well bolt kills Jace. Um Decay. Yeah, we want Decay and Trophy here. Um Clothis is probably fine. Oh, we don't want Fatal Push. We definitely don't want Fatal Push. The only thing it kills is Jace. 
and then I think we can trim bolts. Brutality kills Jace. Surgical. I think we want surgical just in case there's some sort of combo they've got, and we definitely want both of these. Um, Hunt Master's interesting, potentially, and so is Clothis. Um, what could they be bringing in? We bring in things like Damnation. Um, do we want? Yeah, I think we want all of our discard. They're running a lot of Planeswalkers. Um, so you need one more cut. Could it be a land on the draw? Is that crazy? Let's cut a land on the draw. Um, let's cut... Barrenmore's great with Brennan 6, but it is tapped. Let's cut a Barrenmore, just see how that goes. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, hands great. Um, Brennan 6 is at risk of being countered. Okay, so they've got a Thought Seize. Let's see what they take with this. Depends what they can't beat, I suppose. We'd love to draw an Inquisitional Thought Seize of our own off the top. I think they're running 6, which is fair. That did quite a lot of damage last turn, uh, last game. Ah, yeah, that's great. So let's do. Are we? Is there any risk of fetching? No. Well, we do Black Beef Cliffs. Yeah, that's exactly what we wanted to draw there. Uh, they've got another Thought Seize and a Gorio's Vengeance. Well, we don't care about Thought Seize really with our hand, so we'll take the Gorio's Vengeance. Um, I mean, they can flash this back in a number of ways, but more mana intensive, etc. etc. Fetid pools and probably a thought seize here. Yeah. <coughs> probably take the goy well yeah, they take the goyf here. So our plan now is to get the goyf down, start smashing in. They take the croc so which is odd unless they have grave hate. Oh Liliana's nice. Um let's do this. Do we going no, we're not getting basic forest because um because we want to be escaping crocs on curve. Let's go and get... So we've got double red, so we can just get another black. Uh, get Goyf down. He's a 5-6. Um, oh yeah, there's Planeswalker. I put we, yeah, we've got Planeswalker creature in there, and land in there. My opponent's got Sorcery and Instant. Plays a land. Spell bomb. Okay, that changes things. So we're going to attack him with Goy first. So I think, given that we're ahead here, we're going to shock this in. I really want this spell bomb to resolve. Um, it does, and then we'll play another Goy. We've got ten power on the field. Um, we don't know what my. We know one of my opponent's cards is a land. We're now protected against any sort of graveyard stuff. Um, so not sure what my opponent has now, but we're going to smash him for 10 first. So we find a land, which isn't too bad. Um, tap for 10. I might have pushed that push or something. Oh, they go to... We go to one. Is it even worth me playing anything here? I think we, yeah, we'll play out all our stuff. Um, we could have something like Remand, but Liliana's fine. It resolves. We'll take it up for a uh, one-sided discard. Mm, looking like my opponent's been fairly flooded. Could be a gift here. Yeah, we've, they've got gifts. We've got the the spell bomb, and we can uh, we can draw a card with it. Okay, they they're just getting a load of removal. Um, yeah, two removal spells. So we'll put the 
Oh, Eliminate deals with Liliana, and so does Blood Chief's Thirst. So we'll put Eliminate in the bin, and they have to pay four mana for this. Well, they need to kill both Goyfs, actually. But they can do both anyway. So let we'll definitely give it. Yeah, I think we'll just do this. <coughs> And then we can potentially get Croxer down next turn. Um, maybe we should have given him a sorcery speed one. Yeah. Fatal push. Okay. Uh, don't think we want to draw a card here with spell bomb. I think I'm more happy to just fetch. Uh, we'll get a stomping ground. Just for the, yeah. Uh, okay, that's a pretty good draw. Um, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and do this twice. Um, so we'll go return target creature, nope, target player, no. Yeah, target player discards a card and you can take two damage, which looks like it resolves and will be lethal. Yeah, okay. So we came back strong there with Jund, um, managed to get the get the three and two after a, a, a sorry, two, um, a zero two start, um, annoyingly against Dredge and a very close game against Grixis Shadow. Um, but yeah, we get the 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 win against uh, the next three to uh, cash the league and finish with a positive record. Um, yeah, like the deck, um, Plague Engineer coming in clutch. I think we brought in most of the sideboard. Um, I think I want to look at this because the grinding matches we're not really bringing in all of the. I suppose they're for prowess, but I might want to have a look at that. Um, brutality was really good in a lot of matches. Um, I think I'm going to look to add a couple more of those in. Um, Spellbomb has been really good. I might add another one of those. Um, didn't play any artifacts there. I might lose an Ancient Grudge. We've got a lot of kill all spells. Assassin's Trophy was awful. Um, might take that out for another Abrupt Decay, I think, going forward. Um, but yeah, hope hope everyone that watched that enjoyed it. Um, gonna Possibly going to play a Black Green Rock next for YouTube. Um, but if you did enjoy that, please do uh, follow my channel. I'm um, going to be playing a lot of mid-range going forward and um, possibly looking to, to do some Pioneer as well because I think that format's gotten quite quite good again after the, the bans. Um, but yeah, hope to see you again next time. Cheers. <laughs>